Good morning. Good morning again. I just want to thank God for each and every one coming out this morning. Amen. 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 I know we are many small in numbers, but that's okay. Because God says, where well, one or two is gathered in his name, there he is in the midst. So we still going to come and worship him and praise him. Amen. Because the Bible says, let everything that have breath praise ye the Lord. So we came out to worship him in spirit and in truth. He said, if you don't praise me, he'll let the rock cry out. And we don't need no rock crying out because we can praise him all by ourselves. Because he is worthy. Because he is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Now we're in morning devotion. Children. Gonna do what we do, and we're gonna pray that the Lord jumps in the middle of this and it all works out for his favor. All right, uh, who got the open song? Go for Get right, church, and let's go home. Get right, church, and let's go home. Get right, church, get right, church, get right, church, and let's go home. I'm going home, I'm on a train, oh, oh, oh. I'm going home, I'm on a train. Forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. So shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lead not unto, the own, unto thine own understanding. In all ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct their path. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to the navel and marrow to the bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of thine increase. I read to you Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through, 10, through 9. May God add a blessing to the hearers, believers, doers, and most kind people of his of his word in Jesus' name. Amen.
Let us go to God again in prayer. Most heavenly and gracious Father, Father, your daughter, son, Jesus' name. We just want to come, God, Father, with many thanks upon our heart. First of all, we want to thank you for this day, Father. Then, Father, we ask that you bless our pastor wherever he's at this moment, Father. Give him the strength that he's standing in need of, Father. Then, Father, we ask you to look among the congregation. If there be sickness among the congregation, we ask you to have your way, Father. Touch them with your finger of love, Father, and allow them to know that you are there, Father. Then, Father, we ask you to touch each period, each home, each situation, Father, because we know you sit high and you look low and you know what's going on, Father. These and many more blessings in your daughter's son, Jesus' name. We pray and we do say, Amen. Amen. Give our youth a hand, hand clap of praise. Yeah. <clears throat> For I was glad when they said unto me, Now let us go into the house of the Lord. T. Renee has already reminded us that it might be stormy on the outside, but the S O N is shining on the inside. Come on, let's magnify the Lord. <clears throat> He's worthy to be praised. Now, I understand that Pastor Davis is running just a little bit late, but he is, he should be en route in just a few minutes here and make his arrival. We pray that he will have a safe trip over, Amen. getting over here. It is time for our morning hymn. We're going to ask everybody to stand in this building, and we're going to be singing uh, page 433, I am on the battlefield for my Lord. <clears throat> I am on the battlefield. I am on the battlefield. 
for my Lord And I promised him that I I would serve him I am on Verse 1 I was long and idle And I was a sinner too I heard a voice from heaven Saying there is work to do I took the master's hand and I joined the Christian band. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my Lord. I am on the battlefield for my And I promised him that I, I would serve him. I am on. Verse 2. I left my friends and kindred bound for the promised land. The grace of God upon me the Bible in my hand In distant lands I trod Crying sinner come to God I am on the battlefield I am on I am on the battlefield for my Lord And I promised him that I, I would serve him I am on the battlefield for my Lord Verse 3 Now when I met my Savior I met him with a smile He healed my wounded spirit And on me as his child Around the throne of grace He appoints my soul a place For my God bless you. We are now in the hands of our youth choir. Come on, let's show them some love. Yeah. I say, come. Help me get myself together 
the greatest man in history. And can't nobody do it better. Hey, 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 everybody, I got something to say. I met this man named Jesus, and I ain't never been the same. You know, my heart can change, and mind can change, and nothing like it was. I was stuck on stupid, but now I'm filled with love. You know, something big just happened to me. And I gotta tell my world about it. If I keep it to myself, how you gon' find out about it? I sent Jesus to the rest of me and help me get myself together. The greatest man in history, and can't nobody do it better. If your soul is sinking and feeling like you lost, don't know who to turn to. Let's go to the cross. But Jesus died and Jesus bled and Jesus took the fall. All my wrong and all your wrong. Jesus paid it all. But something big just happened to me. Something big just happened to me. And I gotta tell my world about it. If I keep it to myself, how you gon' find out about it? Tell me what you know about Jesus. Anybody know about Jesus? Tell me what you know about Jesus. Tell me what you know about Jesus. Lift your voice and say, put your hands together, say, everybody lift your voice and say, put your hands Something big just happened to me, and I gotta tell my world about it. Cause if I keep it to myself, you gon' find out about it. I said Jesus took the rest of me and helped me get myself together. The greatest man in history, and can't nobody do it better. Something they just happened to me. Tell my world about it. If I keep it to myself, how you gon' find out about it? I said Jesus took the rest of me and helped me get myself together. The greatest man in history, and can't nobody do it better.
Come on, you can do a little bit better than that. Come on, let's encourage our youth. Yeah. 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 They're not all here this morning, but they are doing an outstanding, outstanding job. Now, I don't know if you all have noticed or not, but Brother Chambers is back in this house. Come on, let's welcome him back. We're so glad to have you back. If you would just stand and tell us good morning. All right, all right. We're so happy to have you back in this house. Uh, I don't believe our announcing committee is here. Okay, Sister Chase? Sister Beverly? Okay, Sister Beverly, let's give her a hand as she comes. By next Sunday, right after uh, church serve, we will be having our calendar tea. We ask that everyone please come and support the Pastor A. Also, I want to mention to you, starting the fourth Sunday in this month, we're going to have a Pastor A table set in the back of the fellowship. On second, third, and fourth Sundays, we will be having a little, we're on the table, we will have some little happies. Uh, we ask that you all come by and pick up something. You probably want to bless somebody that day or bless somebody on your job. But we'll have some little happies, and they'll be on sale. Uh, and we'll have this throughout the whole year. So we ask that you support the past aid this year. But do remember that we will be having our calendar tea next Sunday, immediately after church service. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks, Sister Walker, for that. And uh, let's, let's keep all of those announcements in mind. Uh, you know, if we don't support our church, we don't expect others to support our church. So we do want to come out in a big number when they install Pastor Davis as president of the Metropolitan Ministerial Alliance. We do want to come and support our pastor in that endeavor. 
as he's been given a new assignment in his life. We want to be a part of that. Uh, let's remember the pastor's aid announcements, and I'm ready for the tables. I'm ready to visit every table, go home full, so I won't be looking around wondering where my meal is coming from, because I will already um, indulged myself at the 12 tables. Uh, immediately after uh, we collect our tithes and offering, I believe the Women in Action, they have a treat for us today. They're going to bless us with the skit. Um, so we will do the skit, and then we'll go back to uh, our youth choir and let them do uh, another selection for us. And then we'll move forward in our service. You can't beat God's giving. I don't care how hard you try. You just can't beat his giving. The Lord can take a little, and he can make a lot. So you can't beat his giving. So we do encourage you to, to give. Uh, it takes our giving to keep things going, to keep this ministry going, to keep the lights on. And, and, and I know to keep the water on. It, it takes us giving. And, and you know, energy has gone up with their rates. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to buy some candles. My, my light bill went up about $150 more than it was. So I'm ready to invest in some candles and flashlights. I tell you, they're going to take us back if they don't do something with those rates. I went from 250 to almost a $400 light bill. Everything that I can unplug, I'm unplugging it. Everything that I can turn off, I'm turning it off. Praise the Lord from on high. <clears throat> Our pastor is in this house, <clears throat> and we welcome him with open arms. Uh, instead of me moving on, since he's in this house, I'm going to slide <laughs> over and allow him to come, and then we'll move a little bit further into the service. Well, amen. amen. To God be the glory amen. for all the things that the Lord has done. It's so good to be here on a good, good, good rainy Lord's Day. Amen. The rain and the time just messed us up a little bit, didn't it? Amen. But God is yet still, still good. Amen. Thank you for indulging my tardiness on this morning. Amen. Had some errors. I had to try, try to mend to get here. So, uh, but we praise God that we are, that we are here. Amen. Amen. Excited. I heard the choir, but I, I was here. I wasn't here, but I had my, I had my, uh, I had my stuff on. And I heard everything. Amen. I said, hey, I said that's what they're doing. Now. Let me, yeah, let me, I'm in good time. Amen. So uh, we're grateful, grateful to be here. We had a tithes and offerings now. Amen. 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 Dennis, what you are. Man, I'm, I'm going to the store. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, certainly, certainly when we be in prayer for it. Uh, Ma Johnson, amen. Certainly want to be in prayer uh, for her. I have not heard this morning how she's doing, but I'm sure I will shortly. Uh, so we want to keep her lifted up uh, in our time of, of prayer. Amen. Amen. I, WIE has a, uh, has a skit for us today, and we're excited to see what God is going to do for us uh, during that time. Amen. Uh, let us be reminded of the announcements uh, that has been read on next Sunday evening. Uh, that is the fourth Sunday, right? Okay, I tell you, well, I tell you again on that. Amen. Y'all pray much for me. It's just a lot of stuff going on. Amen. Uh, Sometimes I'm trying to figure out where I'm at sometime, but, uh, but God is good. Amen. Amen. Our brother and I is going to come now. Good to see you, Brother Chamber. Bless you, man. I heard you talk. I wasn't here, but I heard you make your speech, man. Amen. And uh, thank God, thank God for you being in this house. Our brother's going to come now. They may worship the Lord and I give him. Are you? Uh, 
Be reminded also that you can give by through online giving through our Giftify app. Amen. If you're watching and want to give online, Giftify. First our Park MB Church there, and you can give online, online giving. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift the seed up to you, Father. I pray right now, multiply time 100, Father. Bless those that gave and bless those that desire to have, give to not have, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let the church please stand. For serving our tables on this Lord's morning. Um, also, I, I knew it was something happening on next Sunday. Our pastor's aides are having a calendar tea, um, and uh, we want to make sure that we support our pastor's aid on next Sunday. Uh, immediately after service for our calendar tea, bring bring an extra five, ten, or twenty dollars with you so that you can be uh, supportive in the uh, tea, and you will. Uh, would not have to go to Golden Corral or Piccadilly's once you leave here on next Sunday. Amen. And you will save money. Amen. And and, and the money you give will be a blessing uh, to you, to our church, and to the Lord. So put an extra few dollars so we can support our calendar teeth on next Sunday. Amen. Our WIA Women's in Action, amen, is going to share with us 
a skit this morning that they've been working on, and I'm so uh, I'm so waiting with tip-top anticipation to see what's going to happen up in this house. Amen. Uh, Deputy President uh, Virginia Chase is going to come and give us directions. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're excited to be here this morning. Thankful, uh, Dr. Davis, that you allow us just this moment uh, to present um, a message of encouragement to us all. We want to always be reminded as we are serving in this kingdom the humility that God has placed in our spirit to, um, to serve. Lord God, uh, the word says, Whosoever therefore shall humble themselves as a little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And how befitting with this being Youth Sunday that we are able to do this presentation. We'd like for you to understand and know that we are actually doing this with a change of character. So just be patient with us. You probably don't know who the character is that, that has been changed. <laughs> But we are going to do our best to go forth. So we'll ask now that all uh, characters will take their places. And while they're doing that, I want to give you just a little story. And this story is about everybody, somebody, anybody, and nobody. There was an important job to be done, and everybody was sure that somebody would do it. Anybody could have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry about that because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought that anybody could do it, but nobody realized that everybody wouldn't do it. It ended up that everybody blamed somebody when nobody did what anybody could have. Remind yourself that you are anybody that can do the job that needs to be done. In Matthew's 28th chapter, Eight, verses 18 through 20 says, Jesus said unto them, All power in, is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching all, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all the commandments that I have given you. And lo, I am with you, even until the end of the world. That is why we do what we do as Christians. It is also the reason why we are all involved in the harvest. So we present this skit. Wake up, wake up, the harvest is ready.
the harvest is ready. It's too early. It's too early. No, don't you see? The harvest is ripe and it's ready. Hmm. Hmm. It is ready. I don't care. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Go back to sleep. No. Come on back to sleep, honey. Wake up. The harvest is ready. What? What? It's you. I'm sleepy. Will you go go away? I'm, I'm going back to bed. The harvest is ready. Well, I'm not ready. It's too early. Besides, the harvest is too much work. But it's But you know how much work that is? Shoot. Wake up. No, I'm going back to bed. One of them to do it. I'm going back to bed. Wake up. Wake oh. up. The oh. harvest is ready. It's you again. Oh, no. Wake up. I don't know how to do that. Look how ripe the harvest is. I know, but you want me. It's a kind of harvest. I don't know how to do no harvest. Go get somebody else. I'm going back to bed. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. The harvest is ready. The harvest is ready. I don't have any clothes to put on. What? The harvest is ready. It's right. Well, it's ready to go. I'm having a bad hair day. Please leave me alone. Break a nail. The harvest is ready. Wake up. Look here now. Look here now. I don't told you. I don't told you. I don't told you. I don't told you now. I ain't ready for no harvest. I'm going back to bed. Leave me alone. Go on. Move on. Move on. Move on. Wake up. Wake up. Too cold out there. <laughs> cold, it's not cold. Well then, it's raining. <laughs> well, it's all right about it being raining. It's okay. The harvest is ready. Well then, I ain't going out there. There's a fierce lion out there. A lion? No, there is not. But there could be. And I ain't going out there. I'm going back to sleep. Oh, my God. They have a lot of excuses, don't they? They do. They do. You know what Jesus said? He said, the harvest fields are ready. Ask the Lord to send workers to his harvest field. Why don't we just do that? Why don't we pray together and ask the Lord to, to do just that? Lord, we know that Jesus said that the harvest fields are ready. Please, Lord, send workers to your field. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll go. The harvest is ready. I'll go if I have to go by myself. Go by myself. Oh, I'll go 
if I have to go by, go by myself. Oh, if our mother don't go, and my father don't go, and my sister don't go, no, my brother don't go, I'll go if I have to go by my, have to go by myself. Oh, I'll serve if I have to serve by my, have to serve by myself. Oh, I'll serve if I have to serve by I'll serve if I have to serve by myself. Amen, amen. We pray that you are act, uh, actually able to be encouraged by this message. We pray that you would have taken something from this and that you too know that you are harvesters and the harvest is ready. I do want to thank the men folks for helping so so quickly with uh, setting up props and a special thanks to the brother back there on the telegram uh, the <laughs> for serving in that capacity. Thank you, Dr. Davis, for allowing us to share this presentation. Amen. Well, amen. Come on, give our women in action a great hand. Amen. Praise be unto God. What a what a what a true message, amen. Amen, for the, the harvest is truly ripe and is ready. We, we learned about that in Bible class past couple of weeks, amen, that, that the harvest is, is ready, amen, and we need laborers to go out there into the field, amen, and compel men, women, boys, and girls to come on to Christ, amen, and there's the message in that, amen. Leave with the message, amen, that the harvest is ready. And we need labor. We don't need to be sleeping. Amen. When we need to be working. Amen. I say we don't need to be sleeping. When there's work to be done. Amen. There's work to be done. Thank you so very much. Our youth choir is going to come and bless us real good. And after they have finished, our daughter, Dr. Dennis, is going to come and bless us this morning. We thank God for her. She wasn't feeling well on last weekend, but God has given her strength and restored her. And we're grateful and thankful for her uh, healing. Amen. God has blessed her. And those sinuses is, is tough. I know I deal with them all the time. Amen. By the time you think they're gone, they'll come back again. Amen. But uh, she's going to come and bless us real good uh, after our youth have come and blessed us in some.
not my mother, not my daddy, it's not my sister, it's not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord, that's standing in the need of a prayer. God be so good to us, because he's a good God. And I, I came to learn that it's the heart that God sees. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father. We cry out unto you, Father. Please so hear our cry. Father, I come this morning in the name of Jesus. The please so have mercy upon us, Father. Father, forgive us for all our unrighteousness, Father. Forgive us for our transgression, Father. Forgive us for our sin, Father. Please uh, have mercy upon us, Father. For we know not, Father. But you know all things, Father. That you said in your word that it's the heart of your people that you see it. So I pray right now, Father. Look into the heart of all these your people, Father. See is anything in it that's not of you, Father. I pray right now, Father. Remove it, Father. 
Please don't have mercy upon us, Father. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice, Father. Put down your anointing in this place, Father. Touch them in a mighty way, Father. Bless them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet, Father. Please don't have mercy, Father. You say by your strength we are healed. And that you own the count of a thousand years. And that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So strengthen us right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father. And I pray for every one of these little ones, Father. I pray for the mother, Father. I pray for our pastor, Father. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, my prayer for prayer that you open all our eyes to all understanding. As to lift up the woman of God and go bring for your word, Father. Give her the wisdom, and knowledge, and understanding to teach that word, Father. That will turn your people back unto yourself. And I ask all this in your son Jesus' name, I do pray. Let the church say amen and amen. Father, dear Lord, we come. We come as humble as we know how to come. We come, Lord God, thanking you for the rising of the sun and the setting of the same. Father God, if you would please be so kind to come into this house and give me an anointing that only you can give. Father God, decrease me so that they can only see you. Father God, silence me so they can only hear you. Father God, speak a word. Only one word that would help some man, woman, boy, or girl along the way. I wouldn't ask you of all these things, but I know that you can. Only if you will. 
Father God, I lift up Pastor Davis to you. Strengthen him where he's weak, and then build him up where he's been torn down. Bless him in a special way. Look upon Minister Taylor and strengthen him, Lord God. Strengthen him where he's weak and build him up where he's been torn down. Father God, then look upon First Hyde Park. Bless us individually and then bless us collectively. And then, Father, I, ask, I wouldn't ask you to go by the ICU unit where Mother Johnson is because I know because of your infinite wisdom, you're already there. Touch her, Lord God. Touch her in a special way from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Please, God, remind her that you are there all the time. I wouldn't ask you of all these things, but I know that you can, only if you will. These and other blessings I ask in thy darling son's name, because it's in your son's name that I do pray. And they all said, amen. amen. No need in asking where I've been. Just ask me where I'm going. And I won't be ashamed to tell you, I live my life knowing that all the roads ahead of me are filled with peace and love. Every little old step so heavenly, I fall, I fall, and bounce right up. Now you're looking at me strange, but all I've said is I believe. I believe in the birth, I believe in the life, I believe in the death, I believe in the resurrection, and I believe in the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I do believe. Give an honor to our Father and his Son, and to the Divine Holy Spirit, to our beloved pastor, Pastor Davis, and to my brother in the ministry, Minister Taylor, to the officers and mothers, to our First Lady and Deaconess, the First High Park family, visitors, ladies, and gentlemen. I am indeed elated to have been given yet another opportunity to stand before you to try and proclaim God's word. On this day, we are still celebrating National Women History Month. So today, we celebrate each of our queens. My mother taught us at a young age that when people are kind and when people are nice, say thank you. So, Pastor Davis, I thank you from the depths of my heart for allowing me this opportunity. I am so grateful for all the things that you do for us, and I'm sure I can speak for Minister Taylor as well, all those nuggets that you throw out to us to help us along the way, all of the instructions and training that you give us. I thank you for it. My mother taught us that you might not learn anything in school, but you will know how to act. So if we don't learn anything in the books, in the resources, you're teaching us how to act. And for this, I am grateful. I'm grateful. There is a word from the Lord that has been recorded to us and for us in the book of Luke, chapter 1 verses 39 through 49 and the book of Luke chapter 1 verses 39 through 49 since I've been in the ministry I never had 10 verses <laughs> and just because I'm reading for you 10 verses that does not believe, that don't believe that my sermon will be 10 chapters. It will not be 10 points. Luke chapter one, verses 39 through 49, and the word of God reads, 
And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into a city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy, with the Holy Ghost. 42. And she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of the Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leaped in mine womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, and blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. 48, For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. 49, for he that is mighty hath done to me great things, and holy is his name. Amen. The word of God for the people of God, and it's already blessed. I thought that we would embark upon the subject for just a few minutes. A praying woman. Last Sunday I was home, but my allergies were in overdrive. And I, I thought that, well, I, I, I didn't make it to Sunday school, but I'm going to get up and I'm going to make it, uh, try and make it to service. Got up and the room started spinning. I said, well, I, I think I better stay here. But I thank God. I thank God for laying his hands on me. Today we we pay homage to all of those women who laid the foundation for us, who paved the way for us, who lost their life for us. Those shoulders that we are standing on today, we pay homage to you. Pastor Davis preached last Sunday on a woman's love, and he painted a beautiful picture of how the first lady loves him. And in order for the first lady to love the pastor, I believe she has to be a praying woman. So today, not saying that you're hard to love, but she, <laughs> but she has to be a praying woman to love our pastor. Today we pay homage to our mothers and to our grandmothers, to our aunts and teachers, and to the politicians, to the mothers of this church, and to all of those ladies who has had a hand in our upbringing. Yeah. We pay homage to you today. Are you a praying woman? Do you wonder if God hears your prayers or if he listens to women at all? Throughout scripture, women have played an important role. We see mothers raising God-fearing children who has changed the world, as well as sisters stepping out into dangerous jobs working alongside other sisters. Other females who are our neighbors and who share in God's love. Yeah, yeah. We know that they must be praying women. Embedded into every culture, Every heritage is the discipline of prayer. Today, we stand empowered in solidarity with every ethnicity, every culture, and every heritage through the power of prayer. When a woman prays, she fortifies the armor of God around herself around her spouse, her children, her grandchildren, and everyone that she is praying for. Elizabeth is the mother of John the Baptist. She was married to Zachariah. 
She is a cousin to Mary, the mother of Jesus. Elizabeth was barren, and in culture where she lived, being barren brought shame upon your family. The text tells us that Elizabeth was righteous in the eyes of God. She was careful to obey all of the Lord's commands and regulations. She never became bitter over her barrenness. She trusted God to do with her life what he deemed best. We can safely assume that Elizabeth was a praying woman. She prayed and she waited. Mary visited Elizabeth and her visit was memorable. She went with haste. She went with speed, diligence, and care. Now, the scripture did not say she went with foolishness. She went to run other sisters down. She didn't go to be negative. But her visit was memorable. She didn't go to gossip. The idea is that Mary went with purpose and earnestness. She was not going on a casual, friendly visit. She had a very specific reason for going, a meaningful purpose. She was going so that she and Elizabeth could encourage and share with each other. They both had similar situations. God acted upon their bodies, performing a miracle for both. Elizabeth was already six months pregnant, so it was evident that God had already acted upon her miraculously. Mary knew about Elizabeth's conception, but Elizabeth did not know about Mary's. Mary entered Elizabeth's home and greeted her. It was at that very moment of Mary's greeting that Elizabeth suffered supernatural greeting. The supernatural greeting began with Elizabeth. Mary greeted Elizabeth and three unusual things happened. First, the baby leaped in Elizabeth's womb. The baby had leaped and kicked before, but this leap was a different kind of leap. It was a sign to Elizabeth that Mary's baby was someone very special. Someone that was about to be revealed to her under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Secondly, Elizabeth was instantly filled with the Holy Spirit in a special, special way. The spirit of prophecy was given to her. The Holy Spirit led her to greet Mary as the mother of the Messiah. Now note that Elizabeth didn't know this, but upon Mary's uh, entering her home, the Holy Spirit began to deal with Elizabeth. This was the reason uh, that Elizabeth was living an obedient life before God. You just can't present yourself in a kind of way to him. So Elizabeth lived an obedient life, and because of this, the Lord was able to fall upon her. This was the reason God was able to use her, and the Holy Spirit was able to infill her with his presence. Our body a living sacrifice, a holy temple. Thirdly, Elizabeth spoke in a loud voice. She was full of joy and exultation for the Messiah, full of unusual emotions. You know how we get sometimes when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. We lose control. We're just all over the place. She was under the influence and impulse of the Spirit of God. She was being guided to proclaim that the baby of Mary was the Lord. Three things happened upon this greeting. Proclamation of praise. 
she was the first person to know about Christ other than Mary. Mary was blessed, but Elizabeth too was blessed because the fruit of her womb was great as well. Thirdly, Elizabeth demonstrated a sweet and humble spirit. She didn't go looking up in the sky, jaking her neck and doing her shoulders. She didn't, she didn't come with all that. Listen, she was sweet and she was humbled. A meekness and love that are so desperately needed by so many. She was older and by being the wife of a priest, she was recognized by the world as being of a higher social class and more honorable. But yet Mary, Mary was poor and unrecognized by the world, but had been chosen by God to serve in a more special way. Elizabeth showed no envy, no jealousy, no hurt or withdrawal. She simply rejoiced with Mary. This is needed so badly in our lives today. We must learn to rejoice when it's time to rejoice. For Matthew states in his writing, when it's time to rejoice, rejoice. When it's time to weep, weep. But we as believers, we so quickly, we become envious. We become jealous. We go to scratching our head. We go to looking around, trying to wonder how did she get that house? How did she get that Cadillac? Listen, it's her time. So we ought to rejoice with her. Because until it's my time, I thank God for the roof over my head. I thank him for the car that I'm driving. Because it gets me from point A to point B. And every now and again, it'll get me to point C. It might jerk every now and again, but I'm on my way. I'll get there. I might not get there with you, but I will get there. So we as sisters, we as queens, listen, we got to rejoice when it's time to rejoice. And then we wonder, I don't know why he married her, but yet we don't have a husband. We don't even have a prospect. Rejoice. Rejoice when it's time to rejoice. You're worried about things that's beyond your control. Notice how Elizabeth rejoiced when she heard Mary's voice and how Elizabeth's baby leaped in her womb. Matthew 10 and 32, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. First, Elizabeth's confession of her Lord was a personal thing uh, because she had never shared this with anybody else. Secondly, her confession was bound to encourage Mary. We got to learn to start encouraging each other and stop being so negative. She humbled herself to help Mary. She was older and she was in a higher position as the wife of a priest. Yet she denied and surrendered herself to push Mary and her child forward. And this is one of the things that, that was discussed in Sunday school this morning. We got to downsize ourselves so that we can help others, so we can push others and stop lifting ourselves. We got to get rid of the eye syndrome. Romans 12 and 15, rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Because of Elizabeth's faith and proclamation, Mary has been blessed by believers of every generation. Even today, we're still blessing Mary because Mother Mary is the mother of the Messiah. The same facts are essential for us. If we want to be blessed by God, we must believe the word of God sent to us. Listen.
listen, and every time somebody brings you a message and said that the Lord told me, the Lord didn't tell him. You got to be careful of who's bringing the message. My mama would say, you be careful of the dog that brings the bone. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got to be careful. You be careful of who's bringing you something and saying that the Lord told me to tell you this. Because sometimes it's something that they want to say anyway. Yeah. It's not always what the Lord has told them to tell you. So be, be careful. We must become related to Christ by adoption. We must become adopted by the children as the children of God. So today, be encouraged and be comforted in the word of the Lord. Stand boldly on the promises of God. He did it once and he'll do it again. If you want to say amen, you might want to say it now because I'm down to the last thing that I want to say. Through prayer, we can conceive if we believe. Today, let's stand on our faith and hear the Lord when he speaks and confess of his goodness in our lives. When the Lord has done something for us, let's tell somebody else. Let's share it with the world. Let's tell another sister. Let's tell another queen about what the Lord has done. And when it's time for us to straighten her crown, let's straighten her crown without telling the world that you had to straighten it. If she asks you for a dollar, you got that dollar, give her the dollar. But don't go out and tell five other folks, girl, she asked me for a dollar. If you got to do that, keep your dollar to yourself. If you're going to give her a chicken wing and you got to tell the world, you got to announce to Jackson that she didn't have no groceries, keep your chicken to yourself. You don't have to go out and tell nobody. If you straighten her crown, straighten her crown and move on. Rejoice with her. Today, today we stand in solidarity because of what happened out on Calvary. They hung him high and they stretched him wide. Jesus hung from the sixth to the ninth hour. But most importantly, in three days he rose with all power in his hands. Today we pause. We pause and say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for all that you have done and for all that you are preparing to do. We thank you for all that's taken place in our lives right now. Because listen, when we look back from whence we have come, the Lord has brought us all the way. He's brought us through some things that was un we thought was unbearable. I say to our youth, stay focused. Stay on the straight and narrow way. You might seem like it's hard right now, but it will pay off. Now is the time for you to get your education and to enjoy each other. Enjoy these years that you have in school. Be obedient. My mother taught us that anything worth having, yeah. you must work hard for yeah. it. Yeah. Now is the time to work hard and leave the foolishness alone. You have plenty of time for that. A little boy walks up and tells you young ladies that I love you. You tell him that nobody loves me like my mama. And sometimes I think she's jiving too. <laughs> but just remember, there's no love like your parents' love. You young men, when them little old fast girls come up to you, you tell them the same thing. Don't nobody loves me like my mama. It's a time and place for all things. You don't have time to be booed up. Not now. You got plenty of time for that. Now is the time to grasp and to learn all that you can learn, to be all that you can be. And every now and again, I encourage you to talk to your grandparents. 
there's a lesson. It's a lot of wisdom. They might not cross all of their T's. They might not dot all of their I's. They might not know anything about subject and verb agreement. But you better believe there's a lesson to be learned when you take time and speak with your grandparents. Yeah, yeah. So today, today we pause and we say thank you. We thank the Lord for all the things that he has done. He has brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. We thank him for all the things that he's doing and for all the things that he's preparing to do. So Lord, I must pause and say thank you. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for holding me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for providing for me. And then if I was in the midst of my Mexican speaking sisters, I would say, muchas gracias. And they said, what do you say, little girl? And I said, thank you. If I was in the middle of my French speaking, speaking sisters, I would say, merci beaucoup. And they said, what do you say, little girl? And I said, all I said was, thank you. If I was in the middle of my German speaking sisters, I would say, Dokushan. And they said, what do you say, little girl? All I've just said is, thank you. If I was in the middle of my African sisters, I would say, Oshe Baba. What do you say, little girl? All I just said was, thank you. But since I'm at 2750 Coleman Avenue, and I'm in the house with my sisters, I'm in the house with my queens, I would say, God is so sure enough good. And today, I thank him. I thank you for grace and mercy. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for your loving kindness. I thank you for sustaining me. I thank you for healing me. I thank you for shielding me. Good morning, First Hyde Park. Be encouraged. Be empowered. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain. It is in the Lord this morning, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, I celebrate you because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Remember queens, a strong woman knows she had strength enough for the journey, but a woman of strength knows it is the journey that she will become strong. God bless you for today and forevermore. God bless you. Standing all over the building. Standing all over the building, the doors of the Lord's house. The doors of the Lord's house is open. There may be one in this house. Maybe one in this house that want to come. That want to come. Why you?
crowd right where we are. We want to pray for Sister Karen Williams. Don't know what's going on with her, but God knows. We know that prayer still works. Don't take God a long time to do nothing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for Sister Williams now. Lord, I ask that you touch her body. In the powerful name of Jesus. Touch her, oh God, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet. Whatever's going on within her, oh God, I ask, oh God, now that you, you would fix it, oh God, as only you can. Strengthen her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. Throughout her body, oh God, touch every organ, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we believe that you can do it. We ask that you do it, oh God. And we're going to claim it all in the name of Jesus. We claim our healing now, God. We claim our healing now in the name of Jesus. We claim it done now. In Jesus' name we pray. And the saints of God said amen, amen, and amen, amen. God bless you. God bless you, sister. Sister MJ, could you come up here? We want to welcome Sister MJ to our church family. Amen. Amen. And she come and stand up here in front. Amen. Brother Rob, could you give me a verse for what a fellowship? Sister Chase, tune him up on that. And now, right back. <laughs> stand right there. Amen. Oh, 
are the everlasting arms. Oh, 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 please. And yeah, 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 please. And safe and secure from all along. Oh, 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 please. On the everlasting arm. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. Leaning on the everlasting Fleming on on the path of the First Apostle Missionary Baptist Church and Pastor, we welcome you uh, to the First Apostle Missionary Baptist Church. Now you have all rights and privileges of being a member of this church. We welcome you. We uh, suggest come on in and do what God will have you to do. We love you and God bless you and welcome. Amen. Jay got it, has a tremendous. I don't talk loud enough, but um, oh, anyway, I was going through a situation a few months ago, and God answered my prayer the other day through my coworkers. Uh, I was looking for somewhere to live. They found me a house, and not only did they find it, they paid for it for me also. So you know, I know that God is really good to me. You know, ooh, I know he's good to this country girl. You know, and I don't take anything for granted. I appreciate everything that's done for me. And you know, I try to treat people the way I want to be treated, and I try to help people whenever I can help them. But you know, Pastor told me just wait. And my problem was I was getting in the way. And once I decided to get out the way, God took care of everything I need him to take care of. And you know, for those that were praying for me and knew, thank you so much. But God, oh my God, he's awesome. He's an awesome God. I promise you he is. Y'all, woo, I almost pulled over side the road and started shouting the other day because God is real. He's real. And you know, when we can't take care of ourselves, he would definitely take care of us. And he did for me. And so just keep holding on and keep praying because God is the answer. You know, he may not come when we want him to come, but guess what? He's coming. He's coming. And just stay out the way and let God do what God going to do. You know, he don't need no help. Even though we try to help him, he, he don't need any help. And so I'm going to give you back to you. All right. I'm going to start shouting. No. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. Sister Washington, who was that lady that just walked out? Oh, okay. That wasn't Sister VB, was it? Praise the Lord. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Never let her adore him. What 
would have been full. It wouldn't have been no better worship than we had today. Amen. And Jesus said, we're two or three that are gathered in my name, that he'll be a God in the midst. Amen. And we praise God. Amen. For our daughter who blessed us and, uh, on this morning. Yeah, praying women. Amen. We, we, we need some praying women. Amen. Amen. We need praying men. Amen. Amen. Help out, Rob. Help out, baby. Yeah. Yeah. about the goodness of the Lord and all that he does. My soul cried out, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo! Praise it, hallelujah. We got 
to move on. Thank God for his anointing in this place. Thank God for the anointing in this place. Thank God. We just believe that he, healing and deliverance have taken place. Hallelujah. 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 We got some things going on in our church, some sickness. And, amen. But I believe that. I believe that if we just pray and pray in sincerity, that God will break every yoke. He'll defeat every demon that, that want to come against us in the name of Jesus. Praise his name. Amen. What a testimony. Sister Fleming. What a testimony. Amen. I know her story. She shared, she shared her story. Even from the very beginning. And we just said we praying and waiting. Amen. For the Bible said they that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as the eagle run, and I'll be weary, they'll walk and shall not faint. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. I, I thought that was Sister uh, Vivi and uh, that's uh, Sister Glass' mother, right? Hey, Sister Glass. I own her. Brooklyn's mama. Amen. Y'all know Brooke, little Brooke girl? Okay. Cause she had called me and said her mom had a stroke. And uh, is that Sister Glass? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said her mom had a stroke and was in St. Dunbar. And she called me on Friday and I told her I just left there uh, seeing Sister Mother Johnson. And um, so I haven't heard anything about it. I need to call. And that's, I kept looking. I thought that was her. I said, wow, that. It was a quick recovery, but it was not her. Amen. So I want to keep her lifted up uh, in our prayer. Sister Barbara Johnson, have you heard anything about that? Sister Vivian. She on there now? Praise the Lord. Okay. All right. All right, then. She online. Was she doing better then? Well, she's doing better. All right, then. Hang in there, man. Hang, hang in there. Don't run from it now. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're getting ready to move. Um, Bible studies council for next week, spring break. So we pray y'all have a good spring break and enjoy yourself and and uh, take care of yourself. And we're getting ready to move move from this place. Let us continue to pray. Uh, Sister Johnson, Sister Caber, and they, they said the Amalang said that her, her, her illness was not severe enough for them to stop so they went on to the next stop and so they so they took her by car to the hospital so so uh, we're going to keep keep them lifted up in our prayers amen god bless you now god bless you we're getting ready to go down from this place doc you got any more worship amen we're done amen everybody say Everybody say Everybody say Amen Let the church say Let the church say Let the church say Amen. Now may the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now, henceforth, and forevermore. Shall we all sing together?